Good day, evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Red Shake. I style myself as Red Shake, and in today's episode, in this very first video of this channel, gonna do a most awaited, most anticipated Sweden campaign in 1.34 Lions of the North. I got myself the DLC, and I am eager to play Sweden in Iron Man mode and do some achievements related to Sweden. Now I already got Sweden is not overpowered and uh, other Sweden related achievements before this patch. So we're gonna recreate, redo those achievements and uh, see what we can do later. So we're gonna play Iron Man mode. Name it Sveria. I've already checked some parts of the new map settings like Gotland and stuff. Also the new monuments. So yeah, Sveria. Start Iron Man. Let's see what can we do. Alright, you can read through this. It's the same description since time immemorial since the game came out in August 2013. So yeah. Now let's check the music. Introductions, yeah, this one's cool. So yeah, we start as a junior partner of Denmark and we need to break free, declare independence. So yeah, what are the goals as Sweden? Control all provinces of the Baltic Sea, flip Protestant and lead the Protestant League against the Emperor, usually Catholic Austria. Go for assemble instructions needed, form Scandinavia and revoke the privilege of the Holy Roman Empire while being the Emperor. As well as mm, we may get some other unrelated achievements along the way. So, what are the situation? Situation. Let's go for available missions right right the Engelprecht rebellions is not a subject nation Swedish allies at least two at least two allies who are rivals of Denmark with the opinion of us of at least 100 so let's see Denmark oh let's pop up those tabs those windows first Denmark, Scotland, Lithuania, Novgorod. Scotland, Lithuania, Novgorod. Well, let's improve with the Scots and the Novgorodians, I guess. Because uh, I take it it's a 99% chance nowadays for Lithuania to be PU'd by Poland. So yeah, let's improve with the Scots and the Novgorodians from day one. Next mission. Military advice. We need to improve. We need to employ an advisor. <laughs> oh, placeholders, or what do you call them? Hmm. Although I don't use any mods except the bigger UI mode, I'll list all the mods that I use in the description. 26% of flat. How about we summon the diet? Right. Is not a subject mission. Well, I have good news for you, Mr. Nobility. Let's get the nobility, the military power, and aristocratic counselors. I know we might need to step up after we declare independence, but. Our economy is pretty bad, pretty bad. So let's employ a mill advisor. Discipline plus five. <laughs> oh my god. We have a game. We have a game. We have a game. So military advice. The Engelbrecht, the Engelbrecht rebellion failed due to the assassination of Engelbrecht. Rip. As well as the support of Stockholm for the Danish crown. 
But even if Engelbrecht would have managed to gain the support of Stockholm, he had no military skills to lead the rebels to victory. We shall do better and ensure military advice when the moment of our independence war comes. A new leader arises happens. Alright, the Crown Councils of Norway, Sweden and Denmark met in 397 in the city of Kalmar and decided to unite the three Scandinavian nations under a single monarch. This union of Kalmar might have been the largest state in Europe. It was, actually. But it was troubled from the start due to its loose organization and, and balancing Danish domination. Eventually, the desire for independence reached a new height when Christopher III got elected to the new Arch King of the Kalmar Union and planned the execution of several Swedish nobles in Stockholm. Johann Christiansen Vasa, uncle of Karl Knudsen of the Bond dynasty, rallied the peasantry and noblemen and took over Engelbrecht's mantle as the leader of the new rebellion. Right, General Johann Vasa becomes available for duty. National arrest minus two, liberty is up plus 25%. The general will become king of Sweden should we win our independence war before the modifier Vasa leads the rebellion expires. So yeah, this rebellion would fire if we declare independence. When we do declare independence. Um, I think we might be able to declare independence like next month. Or via event. Let's go via event. Like I, I like I like the flavor. I appreciate the work Paradox did and put this beautifully put together mission tree. And we're gonna explore it all in this series. If Sveria wills. So support from the states. Um, <laughs> two privileges granted to at least, oh sorry, three privileges granted to at least two states. Uh, the event Stockholm Bloodbath has fired. Hmm. I take it it fires after the Angle Project Rebellion? I've been following, like, all of the dev diaries of this expansion. And I might not remember well Event of Stockholm Bloodbath. <laughs> so let 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 us grant some privileges. Clergy, religious state, and religious diplomats. Yeah. Catholic brethren of Scotland. Also, we are at thirty-nine equilibrium. We have six maximum privileges slots. Let's give as well oversight by the clergy. Now we are by 54%, which is good. All right, nobility. National manpower modifier plus 27%. Oh, we have a maximum of 17? Only? Damn, Sveria. What? Oh, wait. What? Wait. Oh, support from the states. We got support from the states, everybody. While our peasants and lower class dream of a future without Danish influence, the higher class is more reluctant to follow the call of liberty. After all, the Danish king granted many privileges to our states, which make them fairly loyal to the Danish cause. Fortunately, the greed of the states does not know loyalty. If we grant them more privileges than the Danish kings have in the past, then there is a chance that they support us. So we get events based on the states when they have a minimum of three privileges. So we're gonna grant the burgers the privileges, then we're gonna click the event. Uh, the mission, I mean. When I say the event, I mean the mission. When I say the mission, I mean the event. Oh, the song. Mm. I like it. Beautifully composed by these guys. Although I'm not a Swede myself and I don't speak Swedish. Yet. Because when Sweden in this campaign, when Sveria in this campaign, in this series conquers my homeland, I'm gonna, I assume I'm gonna, I, I'm obliged to learn, to learn Swedish. <laughs> anyway, 
Anywho. Hmm, we cannot grant the plus one Diplopower because of our crown land, but we can seize land. Yeah, 1% 1 1 land ownership is pretty bad, so I'm gonna wait on this one for now. For now. Let's go for Patronage of the Arts, Advisor Board. Um, free Enterprise, Indebted to the Burgers. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Red Shake? Private Trade Fleet? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Nobility. Ah, Supremacy over the Crown. This one is bad. I don't use it usually. I don't use it at all. Five influence for, for a single leader? Nah. It ain't gonna happen. Right of Council, and so clergy equilibrium of 64, nobility of 67, burgers of 74. Let's check the clergy. Um. <laughs> I think that's enough. So let's complete the mission. The support of the states, as it is per usual, the states have finally been convinced to support our cause after receiving several privileges. Then I'll make a special offer to us, which will be of great value in our inevitable war with Denmark. However, they point out that the offer is more a favor to the Swedish government first and foremost, and they want to be repaid after the Swedish crown has been established. Take the offer of the nobility. Oh my god, a skill to commandant? With 75% cheaper, and we will be indebted to the nobles. This modifier can only be removed by either repaying the nobility or by disabling them. Disabling the nobility via parliament, for example. To repay the debt, we have to enact a decision which has the following requirements Stockholm has an up to date fort, have 20 army tradition, either complete four agendas of the nobility or have 10% crownland. 10% crown of the nobility or of me? I think of me. Okay, let's check the offer of the burgers. Uh, hmm. Westerbotten, start construction of 10 galleys for 0% of the cost and 10% of the time. Sweden gets debt with the burgers until the end of the game, giving the following effects. This modifier can only be removed by either repaying the burgers or by disabling them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To repay the debt, we have to enact a decision, have one year worth of income. <laughs> I think we might be in debt for the next 20 to 30 years. One year worth of income, either complete four agents of the burgers or have 10% crown land. And the clergy, what do you want? 200% papal influence. Stockholm will be the seat of a new cardinal. Mm, good, good, good. We could use the papal influence for, for example, the um, plus 10% morale. And maybe to stab up once after we declare independence. So by repaying the debt, five churches, five hundred bucks, and by when I say bucks, I mean ducats. A uh, hundred percent papal influence, forty prestige. Nah, it ain't gonna happen. We have no need for such favors. Thank you very much. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think, I think the best one is the ones of the burgers. Ten galleys. For free and 10% of the time, which means in one year we get 10 galleys for free. In one year. Yeah, burgers. I'm good with this. Now, where is Vestra button? It's here. Yeah. I thought it was in the west because Vestra button, you know. <laughs> Alright. Um, other advisors. Inflation stab. Stop guy, yeah, please negate one of these those privileges granted to the states. Diplorap guy. Nice. Now do I need these forts? I mean ugh. Elfsborg, uh Kalma, yeah, dice roll for attacker minus one. Stockholm of course is the capital. 
Vyborg. Uh, yeah, for the sake of, I don't know, maybe army tradition yearly, I'm gonna keep them maintained. Otherwise, I'm gonna reduce the army maintenance and I'm al already losing money. Already. Let's see. How can we develop this god of a province, Dallas Kogan? Falun Coppermine, yeah, already level 1, T1. Local goods produced plus thir 3. Oh, let's reduce the music a little bit. Well. Much better. So we get production of Dallas Kogan. 99 ducats per month. 0.99, that is. If we improve once. So bad the burgers ain't 60% uh, loyal. So let's improve Dallas Kogan once with one Diplo. And we get the 99 becomes 1.05. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not sure if it's good yet. So the third diplomat gives a big fat insult, a scornful one, to the Danes. Uh, let's put... Uh... <laughs> is that sort of th thing on her head what passes for Cran Denmark? Now we have better relations. With the rivals. Where are our navy at? It's here. One? Only one? Damn lightship? Yeah, go protect trade in the Baltic. Let's check our merchants here. Uh, one is transferring from Krakow. One is transferring from Novgorod. So, yeah. Oh, it's already level 2 center of trade in Stockholm. So, uh, chill in Stockholm and yeah, we speed 5 into Oblivion. Can I get some more? Wait a minute, this, this one here, we need to have employed free company. Ah yes, it's either we are not a subject nation, Liberty Desire is at least 100%. And we need to employ a mercenary company. Do start with any professionalism? No. Well, free company it is. Oh, this makes us above our force limit, but we can complete this mission. Then we it leaves us with only getting a hundred relations with Novgorod and Scotland, and maybe maybe it's easier to get a hundred relations with uh, with Lithuania for the sake of fulfilling this mission. Like screw Novgorod, man. And they design my provinces. Oh, come on. Bye bye. I'm gonna prove with the Lithuanians. Unless they became a junior partner in the next two days or so. <laughs> Hit the spacebar, destroy the keyboard. Hmm. Whoa! Engelprecht Rebellion. Yes, please! So in 1434 and in 1436, brave Swedish miners and peasants led by the nobleman Engelbrecht, Engelbrechtson raised their pickaxes and pitchforks in hope of freeing Sweden from the foul influence of the Danes. But of course, the rebellion broke apart when Engelbrecht was assassinated. While his rebellion might have failed, its spirit still lives on in our people. It is time to raise troops who are ready to fight for the independence of our country. The event, the Engelprecht Rebellion, happens. Oh, ho, ho. lore and text, my favorite. So Engelprecht Engelbrechtsen is a legendary and enigmatic figure in Swedish medieval history. In 1434, the peasants of Dalarna, the Dales in Sweden, or the Dallas, had had enough of Union King Elric's crushing taxes and brutal sheriffs. Led by Engelprecht, the peasants and miners supported by certain factions within the church and gentry, rose up in upper rebellion. They captured castle after castle and soon controlled the greater part of Sweden. Meanwhile, Erik Puke, or Puke, had joined Engelprecht in revolt in Finland. For two years, Engelprecht was the de facto ruler of Sweden. But intrigue among the noblemen and infighting between Engelprecht 
Eric Puke and Carl Knudsen finally resulted in Engelbrecht's murder at the hands of the of Mainz Bengtsonat or Die, if I'm pronouncing correctly. But his spirit still lives on in the minds of our people. And the desire for an independent Sweden in Sveria is great amongst the peasantry, and even the ruling class of Sweden is getting fed up with the Danish rule. We will get independent. The question is though, when do we raise our weapons for it again? The time for a new rebellion has not come yet. Lose 25 rubles to design. Nah. The time for our independence is at hand. Gain manpower and liberty desire. Denmark's opinion of Sweden decreases. Whoa, we completed. We can complete Swedish allies. Well, it was fast. It was very fast. Like, we can declare independence like. In the first month of the game. So while our people yearn for independence, our forces alone might not be enough to enforce our our liberty from the Danes. We need to find allies outside Scandinavia who seek the destruction of the Kalmar Union. In the event supporters of Swedish independence happens. So the Kalmar Union was supposed suppose that they did. Gosh. To represent the united will of Denmark, Norway and Sweden, and be the protector of their common interests. In reality, however, it only served as an expanded source of wealth and manpower for the Danes, allowing the Danish kings the audacity to wage wars with the Hansa and cause troubles with the realms of Eastern Europe. The Danes made many enemies, and the majority of them would be more than happy to support us in our cause for independence. However, it would be more glorious if our kingdom managed to win the inevitable independence war on its own. And that would bring us the respect of the other monarchies of Europe. We need every support we can ha we can find, though. So every rival of Denmark, which has at least a zero opinion, will support the independence of Sweden. So Novgorod included. Nice. The Danes are no threat. We can win this war by our own. So we gain fight for independence until we are independent and are either at peace or have. Allies during our independence war, giving the following facts. Manpower recovery speed plus 33. War exhaustion and liberty desire. If you win the independence war without any foreign supports, then we will gain additional rewards. Man, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to do this. Or we'll lose 50% liberty desire. Denmark will release us on their own eventually. Nah. I'm going for the middle one. I'm curious to get the increased reward. Oh yeah, so we can wait for our galleys and like in a couple of months we raise army maintenance and yeah, first of all I think we might call, we might need to call the, um, the you know, regions of God. Fourteen? Like seriously, fourteen? So no attrition, please. No, go on, not, not. Uh, please, I don't like attrition. I'm clicking. I'm double clicking. I I want to. I want the second army. I want to select the second army, please. I think it's a bug because if you had like more armies moving in the, to the same to the same province and when you click on this near you could switch between them but this time it didn't it didn't function very well so you'll go here and you go here avoid attrition please also transports go to Stockholm as well as uh, you know, the galleys you could stay at Kalma and yeah we built a network on Denmark and we improve with the Pope because I need some uh, papal influence bonuses later in the future down the line Gotland of course the pirates yeah of course the pirates man of course 
after getting independence, I'm gonna invade Gotland and, like, I don't know, castrate Captain Eric, maybe? The ex-king Eric. For castrating our old population. Where the devastation map mode at? <laughs> Arrest religious. Diplomatic? No, it's not diplomatic. Economic, maybe? Yeah, economic. Yeah, I mean, look. Stockholm, like, 10% devastation. Like, I mean, come on. Come on, man. This needs to be punished. So, we can already assign a friendly attitude towards Mr. Pop, as long as we are Catholic. And uh, do we start on any course on Denmark? No. But when we declare our independence through this, mission, through this mission, we gain some permanent claims on Skåneland. Yeah, so let's improve, I think, with uh, maybe the Poles. Who want or would like to ally me? Like pretty much like all the, all the dudes. Let's improve the pulsar, I think. You want to support my dependence? Yeah, but... Ah, oh, I want it to be free of foreign interventions because of, of, because of the reward, Mr. Scotland. So sorry for that. Petition for red dress. Uh, we just start the game, man. Like, come on. I need prestige. Like, I mean, I think I'm gonna fire these rebels. Losing money. Like, we start the game in debt. Like, come on. Ugh. Ugh. In Finland? Really? Do we start as accepted culture? Yeah. Like, we have seven transports. Like, let's transport the tra transport the troops with the transport. We got how many peasants? You know what? Screw this prestige. Uh, I, I want the manpower. On the other hand, like, those are peasants. They start with no leader and they're pretty weak. So yeah, let's... let's... Well, if we wait long enough... Um, the game decides for the first option. So I'm gonna risk it and... Uh, yeah, trigger the peasant revolt right now. Risk it in terms of uh, getting the province occupied, which has a bear. Oh, nice bear. Bear, can you defend the province? No, you can't. By the way, Johann Vasa. Good general. Uh, within 12 months, we need to take care of this rebellion, return to uh, Vermland with this army. And be ready for the War of Independence. Let's go for uh, Newland. Future Helsinki. Or Helsinki Force. However you want to call it. Of course, did you get autonomy? No. Ah, those are the nobles or the particularists. Kind of rebels. Matilde, what? Did I marry? When I was asleep? Who? Matilde who? Von Schauenburg. Uh, oh, because Sweden married uh, Holstein, his vassal. Gotland man reading my promises, man. Uh, let's shift to consolidate. Galleys. Where are galleys being built? Ah, uh, yeah, up there. Austria with the Shadow Kingdom event. Oh, Naples are free. Is free. The Neapolitans are free. Good for them. I take it. Gotland, man. Chill for a bit, man.
Oh yeah, the fort recaptured this province because it's in the fort's zone of control. So I need just to defeat the rebels and that's it. Avoid attrition in Belize. Later down the line, we need to build a castle in Stockholm. Oh my god, losing money. Oh my god. Uh, Dallas Kogan, can I improve you once again? No. Next month. Next month comes the improvement for our second beloved province of Dallas Kogan. The first being Stockholm, of course, naturally, the capital. Oh my god, we are spending on forts, like, four a month, F four decades a month. Is it worth it though? Dallas Kogan, once more. Get some more crown land when devving, so yeah. So literally like three months and we declare independence. Could have built some spy network on these guys. Gotland, man. Oh my god, so annoying. Oh my god, like worse than the Berbers of North Africa. Or the Knights of St. John. Or you know, playing in the Muslim region. Wait. Is this a new? Is this a new soundtrack? Knights of Swords. I like the beat already. Oh my god, we're gonna get so much independence from this. So yeah, Gal is already up and running. Um, a bark. Uh, a bark go park <laughs> in Stockholm. As well as our transport ships. Oh my god, we need an admiral. Why haven't we recruited an admiral? Maybe we get one from this event when we declare independence. So, are we ready, boys? Let's wait for the first of of the month. Are we ready? Let's save. Although it just auto saved, but yeah, just in case. Declare war. Allied with the Teutons and Verden. Uh, I think we might need to win naval superiority. First and foremost. Do you know what? I think I have to hmm, block the straits, siege Lund as fast as possible. Yeah, wait for an admiral. Put our whole navy this in this pro province, sea tile. I mean, siege Lund. It's farmlands, so it must be very fast to siege. After we defeat the Norwegians here, and then... <laughs> and then hope for, for, for a good outcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. So we need 50. Diplo. So our naval force limit or a naval engagement width is, or fleet engagement width better yet, 25. We have 21 ships, actually 22. So we need our transports to engage as well. They have some cannons, not much though. So they can fight, although they're weak. So let's wait for 50 diplo and at the same time decrease the maintenance of the state by taking turn off the edict so two more months please two more months one a new pope good for the pope his holiness so yeah 51 let's go for thanks for your death cost minus five christiana pietas and Admiral. Woo! 
For Maneuver, we have a game. We have a game. So, independence shall be declared. Minus one stability. Was it not minus two or minus three? King Frederick Adolf Porsche. Porsche. I thought Johann Vasa becomes the king. Or was it after gaining independence? Yeah. So independence declared, ladies and gentlemen. The time for our independence has finally come. Let us break this union of incompetence and establish a crown which is worthy to rule over Sweden. Gain one step. Nice. And we'll get an event which grants us permanent claims on all provinces required for the missions, the German coastline, wind to the east, and Varangian's legacy if we win the independence war. Sweden gets a permanent claim on Skåneland area. So we need... We, we have to take Skåneland. So if we demand independence and we... Took one, two, three, four. It's already 48 aggressive expansion. Like, come on. It's a natural extension of the Swedish border. And it's Danish culture. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. We can get Gaelic compatibility. Yes, free oarsmen. This could come very handy. Like, very handy. So let's defeat those Norwegians in the speed of lightning. Why cannot we move? Oh no, we need to siege this one first because before we engage the Norwegians in Akarus. Do you know what? Screw the Norwegians. Excuse me, Norwegians. And let's go instead for Lund. Let's go for Lund, man. Ah, one siege. Nice. Let's go for Lund. We have a game. We have a game. We have a battle. A battle between Holstein and Sweden. What? Naval battle. Seriously? Seriously? Oh. 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 Thank you very much. Captured two ships right off the bat. Okay, since... Um, mm, since blockading... The Cital is useless because the Danes control both sides of the strait. Let's engage the Teutonic fleet right here. Elfsborg, yep. Actually, do you know what? Go to Lund and you go here. Just minus two arrest. Thank you very much. Fleet has been engaged. Um. Yeah, cavalry are notably faster than infantry, that's why I go siege this very fast and protect Lund at all costs. Oh my god, oh my god. So I think we might need to repair and put two transports to at the dock because of our engagement with... Actually, let's put... Two cogs of the worst condition to be repaired. So now let's repair once and blockade this raid. Yep, repaired. Now let's blockade. Ah. Okay, do you know what? Let's cheat. We have enough manpower. Let's just. Put our whole army in Lund to discourage any Danes from attacking us in the province. So we have a siege going on, of course, the Norwegians. Let's activate the defensive edict. So a siege tick at our capital takes 39 days. In Lund it takes 29 days. 2.8% because of our spy network there. Come on, please. We made... Oh, 28%. Please don't go to Dallas Kogan. Poland took the Union. We have a game. We have a game. Look. Our balance is crumbling. 
Yes. Can we attack? I think. I think it's wise to attack. I think it is wise to attack, or is it like 13k waiting here? Um, I might as well bombard the fort. What's our mill point generation be like? Plus nine a month. Do you know what? Let's bombard. But not siege, but not uh, assault, assault the fort, though. The House of Banner. A new air. Mm, yep, okay. 153. Dallas Gorgon. Rip Dallas Gorgon. Come on, we took Lund. Hey! We took Lund, man. Finally, man. Riga! Or not Riga, who is you? Verden. And Holstein. Unsiege the capital of our beloved kingdom. So we need to attack from this province or this one one of the two um let's combine our army or let's encircle them it's not heart of iron 4 but encircling is encircling anyway attack so i have a combat width of 20 we have 20 it's all coming together all right, this fleet is trapped and annihilated. Mercantilism or I think mercantilism is good for the long term. So, just tack wiped. They are tack wiped. A new mister, you go siege Babusulsen. A new engage. Navy chased down the enemy. Balize. Two captured. Again. Like, ah. Like, come on. Hmm, we are like. 50% over our force limit, naval force limit, and we are paying a an extra 1.27 a month. What isn't much if you think if you think about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we need some reinforcements here. Do we have any Norwegian forces? Norway zero, Norway zero. The Danes, um, let's go to Gonga. No, <laughs> like they have, oh, they have three heavies. That's why. Well, that explains it. That explains it. We need to be careful with our navy next time in the next engagements. They may have won this one naval battle, but they will lose the war, most certainly. Look, the Danes. Ciao, Danes. As for this fort, I'm gonna... I need to capture it. Hmm. Norway is recovering. I cannot siege down Akershus. I cannot. 
But what, but what I can do is uh, siege the surrounding areas. Um, yeah, let's get one unit from the north side. Oh, come on, Denmark, not again. Really? Let's see if these would scare them off. Yes, they would. Okay. Understood. Now, to siege down Trondelai, we need to have at least six regiments. But because of attrition, I like to put seven troops, seven regiments on a two level, level two fort. So here we have two, here we have three, and like four more. I'm gonna hold off on recruiting a general because I wanna rush military tech four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two tones be like, brrr. Defensive edict, my man. So a siege tech is 35 in this province, and this siege tick is 39. Hmm. We might have a game there, we might have a game. So, how many war score do we need? Like 58. Achievable, achievable. Oh, come on, man. Three, five, and four, and nine. So, to, um... Nah, I won't leave one guy here just for the siege. Just, just to save our progress. Um, that's why, that's why, let's move, uh, all... Like, let's move everybody to... Let's move everybody to Vesterabot then. We need to engage the Teutons because they start in their national ideas. Like, calf combat ability plus 10 and 5% discipline. Now, discipline is also a 5%. And they have three calves. So, yeah, we might win this. Two more months and we disembark our navy from the poor port of Kalma. No, I don't want to use admin points. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. They're gonna massacre my boys. Let's see if we can escape. No, we cannot. Rip! Rip! No, he can! Oh, he can, you hero! Oh. Okay, let's uh, scorch Earth again. Uh, yes, we can escape. Or engage these dudes in the mountains or the hills, that is. Yeah, engage them, whatever. One unit is away. One unit is away. Holstein is using with three dudes. Ugh, crossing penalty. Crossing penalty ahead. Well then, can I piss you out? No. Of course not. Thank God it's Verdun and the two tones are not like like Poland and Bohemia. Pah. That would have been like... Pah. Whoa, 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 what happened? Ah oh, yeah, this one unit. Oh, and he's still alive! He's still alive proud of you, my boy. Um, yeah, let's engage them. One army is faster than the other. Terrain, but yeah, what can you do? 
crossing penalty as well. No? But his general is trash. Whoa, he's about to get this one. So detach a siege and you go like the fastest route is through Österbotten. Österbotten, yep. If they take it at 7%, I swear to God. If they take it at 21%, I swear to God. Are you ready to engage these dudes? Please don't fall, please don't fall. Please, 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 please. Are you ready to fight? Whoa, no way. No freaking way. All this morale. The Finnish company. Hmm. Cost 57. Should have had considered this. You know, retreat to freaking Stockholm. When it comes to the navy, block the straits. And let's recruit the Finnish company. 2310. You see, with a blockade, they had a 35% chance of winning the siege. With that blockade, it became 21. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we avoid the battle? No? Yes, we can. My goodness. This big ass three heavy Norway ships, man. Oh, up, 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 up. Don't attack. Don't attack, Mr. Norway. Oh, I cannot move. Low morale. Low morale. Low freaking morale. Can I just, uh, you know, here, like, uh, oh, we yeah. have, like, very low morale. Like, very. And they're about to get the, the province. Oh, nice. We need to recover the freaking morale. Ah, <sighs> hmm. <laughs> I don't want to have any crossing penalties and I'm not gonna outmaneuver from the north that's why I think it's a better idea to engage in Lund yeah run away run away yes so we get an Attilian war score because we control the capital. 9.6%. Oh my god, I'm losing money. Minus 16. Damn, this war of independence is pretty harsh. If we wanted to, to do it ourselves. Um, morale isn't full, but we need to get the siege before the siege gets us. Like in eight days, and we engage in four days. We cannot wait another month, Dick. Um, let's consolidate our armies, maybe. Shift consolidate, yeah, attack. What can we do? Oh my god! Oh my god, you see, morale is pretty important. Uh, morale is pretty important. We can retreat in two days. Retreat, 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 retreat. We have a game, we have a game, we have a game, we have a game. Of course, and the second I retreat, they take back the freaking fort. And we're losing this naval battle. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Papal state. Can improve the Austrians. Mm. Let's continue improving with the Poles. They seem to like us actually.
Are we winning this one? One heavy. Seven galleys. Nah, I don't think so. Let's retreat as well. We could get our independence and this is the bare minimum. Like the bare minimum. Like I don't really need these provinces in this war. I just need independence, man. And maybe some money and that's it. Like the bare minimum. And it costs 23 war score. Just 23. Morale is an issue. Oh yeah, this one unit up there. Right. Forgot about it. You know, I think... I think we are gonna engage the Teutons. I mean, all these siege ticks and they couldn't take Able. War of the Roses, the usual stuff. Oh my god, we might relieve the siege. We might be able to relieve the siege. So because they are blockading us, we are suffering from... Like, along the blockade of Stockholm, minus 6.77. We have lost it, we have lost it. Okay, forget about it. Forget about it. Edict no more, and yeah. Let's trap them in this island instead. Them two tones, man. Like, go find better stuff to do, like attacking the poles. They're gonna suffer from the dancing event soon, and we might be able to piece them out. Oh my god, he's blitzing through this fort, man, with a defensive edict. What? <laughs> now he's in Stockholm. <laughs> Now he's in Stockholm. Is it the end of our independence war? It's so sad. It pains me to say it. But we're gonna engage the smaller stacks first and foremost. Minus one terrain, but yeah. A battle is a battle. Nobody told us it would be easy. Next tech. January next year. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, please. Roll the zero. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Do we have any available merc companies? The Free Swiss Guard, but they are like very far away. Well, let's recover our manpower, shall we? We have a game. We have a game. Advisor cost, yeah, why not? We'll leave the siege of Stockholm because they're getting uh, a siege bonus from blockading the port. We have lost another port, another fort, I mean. Let's blitz to our capital to defend it, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody told us it would be easy. It's hard. Every independence war is hard. Of course, war exhaustion. From minus 21 to zero. Yes! Miltech 4. We are already focusing since the beginning.
The Teutons don't have it, the Danes don't have it, the Norwegians don't have it either. Now we should be able to crush them and relieve our sieges. Please. The Renaissance, yeah, whatever, we need to do it later. But not now, later. Oh, please engage, please. Two tons. Do you have Miltech 4? No. Thank goodness. The Poles are somehow late in the war. In support of Danzig. Um, so yeah, all consolidated. Shift consolidated. Yep. We have the advantage. We have the advantage. Yep. Go to the Danes. Teach them a lesson or two. Minus 26%, why? Because of all these blockades, man. Like, from 17 battles plus 5 in positive. Oh my god. Oh my god, we need a better navy. Oh my god, we need a better navy. Ah, oh, we have a game. We have a game. We have a game. How many gals do we need? Like, they have... The force are, like, of, like, 6 galleys and 3 heavies. So, which means double the amount of the heavies plus those galleys and 12 transports. Oof. We need like 24 galleys, I take it. We already have 8 building, 4, 12. Oh, I got my economy. Oh. My economy cannot sustain this. It's too much. Minus one terrain, of course. We're still smashing them, though. Shift consolidate. Shift consolidate. Let's unsiege Dallas Kogan and uh, recover some of our morale, shall we? No bankruptcy, no, please. I need to, re to unsiege some provinces before it's too late. So you go here, and you go here, and you unteach for the sake of everything. Unteach and save us from bankruptcy. <laughs> Live on in order. Announce this as rivals. Now we are at least not suffering from a looming bankruptcy. standing oh my god oh my god he's attacking oh my god he's attacking retreat my boys and girls retreat oh the last jousting tournament yes do you still have miltech 3 yes you do oh he's about to peace out he's almost ready to peace out how about the burden no So Verdun is about is not about to be out where the two tones are.
here we suffer from a river crossing through Skarabor, Skarabori, Skaraborg. You felt a little. Do we suffer from a crossing penalty from this province? No, we don't. Yes, our fort in Kalma is unsieging this province, which is pretty good. Oh, you arrived. Level 3, level 3. We might be able to make it, guys, and defeat this army of Verdanians, Holsteinians, Danes and Teutons. The Danes are level 3, Teutons as well. Holstein as well as Verden. All all are level 3. It's either now or never. Like, seriously. Let's consolidate our troops. Free company is suffering. Shift consolidate. Um, <laughs> yep, let's engage. Minus two from terrain, but <laughs> come on. We have the tech advantage. And just like that. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's teach freaking Lundman with the siege one general here. He might as well grab the Finnish company. Now they have together. Is it enough for a siege? Yeah, it is. Very good. Two tons. Do you want a piece out? Yes, you want. Bye bye. Ciao, bambino. Ciao, bambino. Good riddance. With 10% cavalry combat ability and 5% discipline. Uh, I think stability is better than... Yeah, we need prosperity. Uh, let's form prosperity uh, with stability. Money can come and go. We need to unseach this one here. So let's... Give six regiments of our most finest troopers to unsiege this one province. Like 6.44 and yeah. Twenty-six days because tactic differences minus six percent tactic difference. It's this one. The Danes have 0.5, we have 0.7. So we have a, an advantage in siege ability. Where are my galleys at? We need at least plus 10 war score in the positive to be able to make demands. Can we white piece though? I'm interested. Maybe in two months. <laughs> or now we can white beast. But we remain the subject. It says here. Um, or it doesn't say, but we remain the subject. But we want independence right here. We want independence. No, General. <laughs> He's no more. Um, let's recruit another one. Or maybe let's recruit our king as a general because of bad legitimacy. No siege pips. Uh, let's get a general. No siege pip. Another leader. No siege pip. Of course, we have a game. We have a game. We have a game. It's always like this when I'm recording. Which is only this time because this is the first time I'm recording. <laughs> um, <laughs> where? Where are you? What? Sat me Karelia. What? Livonians. What? Karelia. 
Sub me. Hä? In a trade league of Novgorod, what happened here? Maybe the Moscovites released them, but no, they usually go for land. Maybe the Teutons, and they took Nuttiburg from the Novgorodians. Yeah, Muscovy doesn't start with... Ah, I think Muscovy released them. Because when you have permanent claims and you release nations in your permanent claimed uh, lands, you lose those claims. Unless you fabricate the claim and you get your permanent claim again. The more you know. Take London already, please. For the love of Jesus. Why are we getting the caravan and some oriental stuff? Soundtracks when you're playing like literally in Scandinavia. Verden, do you wanna peace out? No, you don't wanna. Ah, <sighs> Norway. Starts with uh, naval bonuses. That's why their heavy ships were like unpenetrable. Plus 10% ship durability. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, our galleys are finito. I think I might need to improve with the Russians to avoid being declared by them on me right after getting our independence. Engage. Galleys coming for the rescue. Lund is finished. Right. So let's rearrange some troops here and there. I want to get this fort as well. It's hills though. Should I attack the dudes up there? Yeah, let's attack the dude, uh, the dudes up there with this guy in here. Dudes. Where are my galleys at? Um, reinforcements? Yes! We are crushing them! Oh, yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Uh, uh. Master Recruiter, no thank you. I'd rather have the prestige, sir. We want. We captured five ships! And we got a naval trade. Uh, repair for the love of God. Repair. Oh, look, we can get independence. Almost. I think I might be greedy and take and demand those lands also. Not again, man! Denmark, man! You go attack these dudes, Finnmark. Yeah, come on. Come and siege it. Siege it down. Quickly, buddies. And you... Blockade the strait. Since we control one side of the strait. Oh, can we hunt those dudes? This one regiment here. Yes, we can. Hmm. Province of Abo. Let's get some manpower going there because it's a grain province. So invest in a bigger army. That is...
Yes, we can get our independence. Let's see, can we get those lands? Oh, we need a little bit more fighting for that. We already have a maximum ticking score of 25 for controlling Stockholm. So let's unseach some stuff and um, blockade these trades, maybe. Verden, your navy is no more. Maybe I need to... Um, navally blockade them. To piss them out. You don't wanna? Maybe if I let a month tick by? Would you be wanna? Peace outer? Ah, is blockading the fort? No, 33% blockade. Like, come on. Let's un unseage uh, the province of Abel. Do we have any edicts that we need to turn off? Nope. No, not declare war. Wait, what? So for peace? Uh... Come on, he's taking this fort. Come on, man. For the love of, like, come on. Leave one behind, go here. Leave one behind, go here, go here. Go here, and go here. They have a reinforcement of Verdenese in the province of Shelland. Um, that's why it might be beneficial for us to piece the to piece Verden out before we engage in Lund. Oh God! I swear to God, if they take this fort back at forty percent, I swear to God, man! Oh my God, twenty-eight. Are we ready to engage? Though, that's the question. He's still level 3! He's still level 3, my man. Outnumbered by, by 1k, but it's not much. We still cannot piece them out. We still cannot them out. Continue these two sieges, my man. Like, seriously, one more month? We are getting there, we are getting there. Yeah, unseaged. Unfreaking sieged. Let's siege uh, Trondelai. Verdon, please, for the love of. One more month. Why is it taking ages to siege this town? To unsiege it, actually. Of course, innovativeness is decreasing. Where do we get passive renaissance in Stockholm? Uh, I think it might be better to get some advancements there until we are ready to develop the institution in the capital province of Stockholm. No, Verdun, I'm pissing you out. Li like, right now. And you're not sieging with Holstein anymore. 
Let's see, can we peace out with our lands? No, that we want. No, we cannot. Let's fully blockade these sons of. Like, fully blockade them. Like, fully. We want to get our war score back. Might be bad as well to blockade this fort. Yeah. For faster sieges. They're sieging me down where? Lund again? Breached walls again? This must be a joke. Again. Where? Oh, of course. Of course. Oh, stop, 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 stop. We can peace out. Stop. Screw everything. Screw everything. Peace out. Get 24 ducats. <laughs> oh my god. And 38 aggressive expansion. This war, man. 1453, man. Like, started in 1446. This has been several long years of constant warfare and we are like how many we are 1400k in debt but we shall rise we shall rise like a phoenix from the ashes rise of the swedish kingdom the war with our former master was a bloody one and required a price in blood and wealth of course eventually though we prevailed and achieved our well-deserved victory our independence as the Kalmar union now falls apart, the rise of a new kingdom in Scandinavia, of Sweden, has begun. This is the start of a new era. Permanent claims. Nice. The rise of a new king of Sweden, with the victory over Denmark. But... Johan Vasa has died. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. With the victory over Denmark. Denmark? The Swedish crown is once again independent. And worn by a sword. Uh, by, by Swede. Sorry. And war by Swede, the lead of the rebellion, Johann Vasa, has gained the support of our people. And while Frederick Adolf I might be de facto ruler of Sweden, his legitimacy as the king is questionable at best. It has been suggested to crown Johann Vasa as king of Sweden due to his contribution of the successful independence war. Now that's the thing. The general Johann Vasa is dead. Do you get him crowned as a, as a king? In his grave or something? We should give Frederick at all first a chance. Vasa leads the rebellion, will be removed from Sweden, gain third legitimacy. Well, this modifier should have gone with the death of the general. You know, logically speaking, but okay, here we are. Uh, gain third legitimacy. Sweden gets rise of the Swedish monarchy until the death of Frederick Adolf the first Porsche, giving the following effects. Stab cost minus 10, legitimacy plus one. Or, well, I think we're gonna resurrect Johan Vasa from the dead. <laughs> we're gonna resurrect him. Please resurrect Senor Johan Vasa. So, Vasa leads the rebellion will be removed from Sweden. Johan I, at 644, with a strong claim, becomes ruler at the age of 25. Resurrected. Yeah. And we get rise of the Swedish monarchy until the death of Johan Vasa. Giving the same modifiers. Okay, let's resurrect him, I think. <laughs> He's resurrected. What? 644. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 1 of Sphere playthrough. If you like this video, if you want to... If you want to see more of this series if you want to see a continuation how we expand in these new claims that we've gotten then please make sure to like and subscribe in this brand new startup channel of me playing my hobby of eu4 with about 4k hours playing this game since time memorial since this came out in august 2013 ladies and gentlemen 
this has been the red shake. Actually, you might call me the blue shake after starting to play as Sweden. Peace!